Okay, we're going to replace the hard drive um, on this uh, MacBook Pro A1278. Um, these are pretty easy to work on. Uh, the, remember that these three screws on the back side where the hinges are longer than the others. So just get a small Phillips like so, okay? And here, let me take one out and you'll see how long this one is. See, those are longer. And then everything else going around here is these little short ones, okay? So go ahead and remove all of the screws. You have three long ones. And as you can tell, you might have a little bit of uh, a Loctite on it. It doesn't matter. Just work your way around and remove these. Okay, here's the last one. And the aluminum cover should then just come right off the back, like so. And you can set that aside. And if you look, all right, here's the battery, here's the RAM. And here's the hard drive that we're going to replace. So first, what we do is we want to come over here and we're going to disconnect the battery. I think you should always disconnect the battery. Like so. Okay. RAM is easy. You just pop it up like that and just pull it out. One. And then the second one is below it. You just remove it. It should pop up as well. And then just slide it out. There we go. There we go. And then that should just slide out. Come on. This one's fighting me a little bit. There we go. Like that, okay? Um, and then we got the new RAM right here. Okay, and the same thing. We're going to make sure it's all clean. And then we're going to make sure it's secure. And we're going to push it in. Oops, what is that? There's a little hair. We'll push it in first, tightly, and then we're going to push it down. Like so. I'm going to take the next one, take it out of the case. Like so. Remember, there's only one orientation. I got the same speed as these are 1333s, PC3s, and these are Samsung modules. Okay, and that's it right there. And that's so the RAM's in. Now for the hard drive, if you look, the hard drive is held in by these two screws right here. There's one. Okay, in this bar, and there's another one right here. Okay. See, that comes out, and then you should be able to lift it out, and the SATA cable is on the back side here, like so. Okay, just like that, and that sits there. Now, uh, what, you, what you have is uh, these, these little mounting tabs, and if you look at the new hard drive, so much lighter, um, you should have screws that we're going to take the hardware out of here, we're going to transfer it there, okay? So I'll be right back when I'm done. All right, I've got all the uh, the pins mounted. So much lighter. We want to make sure it's orientated right. We're going to put the SATA connection back in, the small, small, big, big. Push it in flat, and then we're going to put it into the rubber housing there, the little boots that hold it in place, and then put that down. We're going to put the pin back in, and then the retainer, we're going to screw that down. Let's screw the other one down. All right, then we're going to reconnect the battery. Don't forget to reconnect this battery terminal right there. Okay. And then we can carefully put the cover back on it. Okay. Like so. All right. All right, I like to put the... I like to put the long screws in first. So I'm gonna find the holes for that. Start those and not we're not gonna seat them all, just put them down a little bit and then just put them down just a little bit and we'll come back later and tighten it as after we get all of them else in. Okay. And just make sure that they all find their their hole and it it goes in smoothly. And Side ones sometimes go in a diagonal, so it's easy to cross thread into the aluminum chassis. There we go. And then we just got the few left on the bottom here. Right. Take your time, don't over thread them in. And then that's it. And then 